Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. She is a multiple award-winning actress who has starred in more than 300 films. With more than 23 years in the movie industry and counting, she was voted one of Time's most influential people in 2013 and was recently invited to join the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences to become a voting member for the Oscars. Joining us now to discuss is Omotola Jalade Ekeinde. Welcome to the morning show. Good Hi. morning. <laughs> Omotola, I like that. Omotola. <laughs> Omotola. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, this is such a huge deal. Thank you are you. the first female actress from Nigeria to be um, invited as a uh, voting member. How did that news come to you and how did you feel when you got that news? Okay, um, first and foremost, thank you very much for having me on this very wonderful platform. Um, such um, a wonderful thing for us to have this sort of platform as well going out to the world. Um, so to the question, it was, um, I, didn't, I, I didn't get a letter, <laughs> okay. which is very, very um, interesting. I didn't, um, I wasn't formally uh, told, that's to say. Everyone just there congratulating me. Okay. And so my office um, um, took it from, I think, The Guardian and, and uh, put it up on, on our Instagram page. And I went berserk. I was like, take that down. You know, and it was like, it's from The Guardian. I'm like, yeah, but then if it's tr really true, I should have been, um, you know, notified. notified ahead of time. You know, so I don't think there's any truth to this. Because, you know, sometimes we get all these rumors, you know, or, you know, some actor or somebody has been added to some Hollywood project or something. And usually it's just some somebody doing some kind of prank, and I didn't want to be part of that. Um, so then um, one of uh, a very respected person in the, in, in the industry called me and said, congratulations, and I'm like, no, not even you. <laughs> and he was like, no, but it's true. I'm like, where is it? He was like, go check, and then he gave me, um, you know, the link, a formal link, something more tangible, I think, and it was like, it's actually on their site. And I'm like, how is this happening? And so I went, I saw it, um, so my, my, they put it back up, and then so my manager had to write them. Anyway, the mix-up was that um, there was some email that we were using before that they had sent it to and you okay. know, it bounced back. Okay, okay. So that was how I got the news and I was like, oh! <laughs> so how I felt, I, I just, um, it was two years before that, yeah. you know, I had gone to, I was invited to, to Hollywood and we did the Oscar So White movement. Yes, I remember you know, that. And I was, I was the only one officially invited for that one. And um, I, I, I felt very weird when I was doing that because I was like, ah, I'm Nollywood. Why am I being invited to Hollywood to come fight Oscar So White? But who knew that, you know, two years down the line, I'll be a recipient of that gesture. And I'm just very grateful for it. I think um, we should just be careful what we do because people are watching and, right. then, you know, along the line, it might just, you know, Okay. Off, yeah. So for the benefit of our viewers, what does it mean to be a, a, a voting member for the Oscars? So um, I, I thought it was just voting member and I was just, um, <laughs> I was corrected and said I'm actually a member of, you know, it's not just a voting member, I'm a so member of So you are a member of the, of the academy, academy. Yeah. okay. So what does that mean? Um, so I'm, I'm traveling and I'm going to get the full <laughs> package of exactly what that means, but so far, um, concerning the voting, yes. they're still sending me um, entries and okay. so watch pretty much you just have a leg in the door. Um, so you're representing your country and what that means is that um, I'm representing yourself anyway as a practitioner and you can now um, vote because it's, it's an academy you see so before a movie wins mm -hmm. pretty much what, it, what happens is it goes through the governors and it goes through the members and you have to vote and then they collate all those votes and that's how they're actually eligible you know to win. Or, or something of that nature. So um, I just get a seat in the room and <laughs> okay. I, get my, I guess my opinion now matters. So I, see, I, hear, I hear that um, the way that you're selected is by your um, movies. They saw two of your movies and then they chose you. Amazing. One of them was um, The Last Flight to, to Abuja, Abuja, correct? Mm -hmm. And what was the other movie? The Private Storm. Okay. <laughs> and and, and Storm. so how, how did they find that movie? And what do you think about those movies making its legway to become a, 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 a selection? For which is why I said what I said yes. earlier when I said when you're choosing projects or whatever you're doing, be okay. very careful because sometimes we just do these things and we're like, yeah, I'm just getting along with it. But people are actually watching, you know. People so who would watching. ever think that Private Storm that I did how many years ago would be eligible at the time like this and on such a platform to be checked out for something of that nature. When I did that project, it was because of the kind of story and, um, you know, its relevance to... Um, to um, actually, it was a story about... Um, 
uh, abuse, you know, spousal abuse and stuff like that. So I tend to pick such stories. And okay. I know a lot of people have said, okay, what a lot of just happy stories and stuff like that. But that, those are, maybe because I'm an activist, those are the kind of stories that mean something to me. And I guess, you know, so these people check out for stories like that, maybe probably with underlining messages and stuff like that, which are still entertaining. So, um, yeah, it was the movies that were checked out. Now, what, what was this recognition? What does it mean to you? It's not the first time you'll be recognized uh, internationally. Uh, when you get this kind of opportunity, this kind of, let's say, endorsement, right. uh, what does it mean to you? Um, it's a validation of some sort. I really do work hard, if I must say so myself. I really do work hard, and I do, I do, I'm not, I don't do things on a regular. Like, so, for example, people say, oh, why are you not doing movies all the time right now? And it's just the way my brain is wired. I just look out for some certain kind of projects. And that means that I suffer sometimes as well. Because what it means is that sometimes I'm not on the screen as much. And so, as an, as an actor, naturally, sometimes you're, you're battling yourself. Because you want to be working all the time. But then the kind of projects you want don't come all the time. So, it's... So, as an artist, I suffer that way. So when this comes along, this is my reward. You get it? Yes. So this is my reward. And this is what comes and tells me, look, you're, it's not easy, but you're on the right path. And so it encourages me to continue to do the things I do the way I do it. What else? I think there's another Nigerian who's been invited by uh, the two, Academy. Two, actually. So we're three. Two others. Yeah. Who are those two others? I know there's Odubemi. Uh, Odubemi. I don't Odubemi, know who the other lady. They're not in Nigeria. I think they're in the, in the, in the UK. So... I, I know Femi Odigwemi is a producer. The other lady, I think she's a writer. I'm the one from the actor's branch. There are different branches, you see. So he's, I think, one of them, the Odigwemi guy is a, um, from the director's, I think, or yes, also. The and the lady, I think, is a script writer. So I'm from the actor's um, uh, branch. Well, will you consider this uh, a recognition for Nollywood? Yes, it is. Oh, of course. Obviously, yes. because they're watching Nollywood movies. Um, in 2013, when I met um, Steven Spielberg, you know, and we were, and Daniel Day-Lewis and all of that, all those other people, um, one thing stuck out, and I, I did my interview on CNN, and I said, I said, look, Nollywood is being watched. Yes. Period. That's what it is. They might not be coming as much as we expect them to. Point is, they understand that this is a force to be reckoned with. They understand the power. And I really want to appeal to the government, don't wait till this one indigenous thing that we have that is bigger than oil is stolen away from us. And you just mentioned it's bigger than oil. It is bigger than yeah. oil. It is. It's, I mean, like, it is the biggest thing, I think, Nollywood has done for Africa, not just Nigeria. Don't wait until the white man steals it away from you. What a shame that would be. What a utter, utter shame it will be. And it's, it's, it's about to happen. It's up to them. Well, it's about to happen. You're an actress. You are into charity. You do a lot of things. And uh, you're also a singer, right? Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> but since your last album, there's been nothing again. Have you abandoned your interest in uh, music? No. <laughs> I, 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 sorry to break your heart, but no. <laughs> Why did you say that? No, Sorry. A, lot, a lot of people don't want actors to sing, you see. I mean, it's almost, you know, I understand it. I get it. You know, you just want them to be actors, you know, and so. But, you know, we're, we're entertainers. And we're naturally going to flow however our creativity carries us. And that's why that's you great. see singers doing movies and doing poetry and doing whatever, dance or something that they can do. I do uh, sing. I write my songs. Talking about dancing, I saw you on your 40th birthday <laughs> dancing to Ijoshino. Yeah. <laughs> I do love to dance. I did the first dance show in Nigeria, in Lagos, um, Nigeria, I think. Um, Celebrity Takes Two. Um, I didn't go too far, but, <laughs> but at least I did that, you know. So, I mean, and I used to dance when I was younger. So, I mean, these are all forms of entertainment, and people need to be open-minded. I understand when we were just starting entertainment, you know, that people were very close-minded. just want them to stay in their little cubicles. But right now, you need to understand that an, ent an entertainer is an entertainer. Yes. And so they will go to all forms of it. Tomorrow you might see me, I might just be, you know, in poetry or something, um, writing, you know. So you would express yourself, as long as you're a creative person, you would naturally express yourself as so. And music is, actually, music is my first love. People Aww. just don't understand. Yeah. Well, you have a son who is also uh, He's a music, music producer, yeah. Captain yes. E, shout out. Is he just out. a producer or he, does he <laughs> He sings as well. Yeah. We forced him to begin to sing because he has a, he has a fantastic voice, a very convincing voice. But yeah. the guy didn't want to sing. He just wanted to produce. And then a, you have a daughter technique. who is a model, right? Uh, who is into modeling. Are you okay. the one pushing them? No. You, no, no, no. You know, no. like, you just want to replicate yourself through the children. No, I mean, we, we run a house where 
if I must say it myself, myself and my husband are very queer. <laughs> and we're very, my husband started flying at the age of 15. Oh, that's interesting. You know, so we are, we are early starters, my, my husband and I. And so what we, if we're guilty of anything, it is, is, it is pushing the kids to discover themselves early. And whatever they discover themselves in or art, we just support them. And so this is where their, you know, their destinies are taking them to. My daughter, by the way, is a fashion, she's a fashion person, even though she's doing business now, but she did um, fashion merchandising as her first, she has two degrees now. As her first how degree. does Captain Akende cook? Everybody sees you, you go somewhere, it's like, oh, almost sexy, almost sexy. <laughs> and, and when the men call you almost sexy, you know, you look at their eyes, you see uh, lost. You know? <laughs> but he gave me the name. So how does you, oh, he gave he you the gave, name. Yeah, he gave me almost sexy. That's his, that's his um, um, nickname for me. Yes. Okay. So he only became popular or it became public when he put it on my plate number, my, as my plate number oh, on my, you on my car. Oh, you still have that? Do you drive around no, like almost sexy it. It on your car? <laughs> I fired that plate number thing anyway, by the way, with entertainers, but it got to a yeah. point where it was too much. I mean, everywhere you went, area boys are waiting. And I wasn't making that much to be squaring that much, so I was like, uh-uh, this is getting too expensive. But he gave me that name. And he's, if I must say, he's a very confident man. So I don't, I mean, we've been in this game. He doesn't feel yeah, frightened. So. Right. No, no. Nah. So tell us about Omo Sexy, Omo Tola. You are very successful. Can you tell us what are some of your success strategies? How did you become who you are? Okay, without sounding duh, uh -huh. <laughs> I think first is uh, things that have worked for me. I can't say it will work for everyone, but things that have worked for me. I, I think starting by knowing who um, your spirit man is. I, I, I gave my life to Christ when I was 15, and that's, I think, has been my foundation. Okay. I have to say that. Because um, finding Christ very early um, helped me to cut out some excesses that ordinarily, you know, probably would have put me in trouble. And it helped me to put, you know, focus on the things that mattered. And um, also, when you do that, you also find yourself. It's a spiritual journey. You begin to discover yourself. I've always been an activist, and I'm very quick, you know, so I, I could, that could have been destructive as well. You know, if I didn't find my spiritual strength or my spiritual direction, I could have used that for destruction because I'm very quick, you know, and I can, if I, if I don't hold myself, I can actually go the destructive way. But I was able to harness that energy towards something positive. So I, I'll say to young people or anybody out there, find your spiritual connection first, find something that grounds you, that reminds you who you are as a human being. After that, then begin to find what makes you um, excited. You have to be excited about life, you know, and whatever makes you excited about life, wake up, do that thing, and earn money from it. Well, there are many young ladies, you know, now coming up in Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, they want to be like almost sexy. Uh, if possible, they want to be better. And uh, many of them seem to be in a hurry, if I must say. Uh, what, what kind of advice will you give to those uh, uh, younger ones uh, Relax. coming behind? <laughs> Relax and give yourself time. I post about this all the time on my on my Instagram. Give and by the way, follow me, real almost sexy, <laughs> on my Instagram on all social media. Relax and give yourself time. Give yourself time. Things, every good thing takes time, and consistency is always the best thing. Don't be here today, here tomorrow. You know, at the end of the day, you confuse people. People don't know where exactly you stand. Be consistent. Find your find your soul. Find what makes you think and make it better every time and stay consistent. Don't and tr keep away from or necessary distraction. I think today, the millennials especially, they face a big problem, which is social media, because you see all these things. But don't forget that people never post the bad sides of them on social media. No, what you no. see is the glossy. Yeah. And um, behind that is a lot of crap. All right, so be careful and don't get carried away. Because the truth of the matter is, there's a lot more you don't know. So relax, take your time, be focused. If it is giving you stress, turn off your freaking social media and focus. All right? Well, it's been a long journey from uh, your first film uh, with uh, Regina De Beret, right? right? Who was with us at Hints Magazine in those days. Wow. And then Mortar Inheritance, <laughs> yeah. where you played uh, the sickle cell. cell. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when you look back now, um, what, how do you feel, particularly with uh, that first film and then so many that you've done after that? Over 300 now. It's amazing, I mean, to see the journey. Sometimes I see these old movies and I'm like, wow. I, I'm trying to get that passion back, you know. Um, I would lie to you, some, somewhere along the line, you it's not... Like you feel like you lost? I, I feel yeah. like, I feel like sometimes I've lost that because then it was raw, it was... You weren't being paid well, you know, but you wanted to do it anyway. Yes. And there were times for, for rehearsals, you have times to develop your characters, there was scripts, you know, conferences, script, um, script clinics and stuff like that. All of that is gone now. And so that's one of the reasons why I don't take just any kind of project. You have to be serious to come to me.
to want to do a project because yeah. I bring a lot to the table and I expect you to do the same. And I want that back because I see where we are going and we can't get there by being mediocre. Because by the time we expose ourselves to the international, they'll be like, hey, hold up, who are these guys? You know, you guys, you guys are a joke. And I don't want that to happen because I know we have it. So I'm just trying to be one voice and I'm sure a lot of my other colleagues are going to be joining me and uh, joining me as time goes on to say, look, hey, hold on, we can't do it this way. Let's do it right. Um, now we have another, it's like we're starting all over again, Hollywood, that is, because now we're doing the cinemas. You know, we've done the home video yeah. And we, we grew that to some extent, but now we're kind of like starting another kind of market, trying to grow the cinema. And so now we can do it right. And I've had a discussion recently with one of the biggest cinema owners um, just a few days ago. And we were talking about, you know, practices, how to, how to get our, 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 our uh, structures right and all of that stuff. And I, I was glad when he said something to me. He said, almost like you're the first person who's called me to have this kind of meeting. Wow. I said, because at the end of the day, when I sit down with international people, these are the questions they ask. When I sat down with Steven Spielberg, the first thing he asked is, how am I going to track my movie? Yes. And I sat and I was looking at him like, right. I have no idea. At the time, the cinema, the cinema culture wasn't that great anyway. But okay. this was 2013. But these are the questions they want to know before people come in to invest. They want to know how serious you are. Well, okay. I mean, you are Yoruba. But many of your critics say you don't want you, you no longer do Yoruba films or you don't like to do Yoruba films, huh? that you prefer, you know, uh, films where movies where you can speak English. Is it, uh, is it true? They should come now. If they come, would I say no? <laughs> if you come correct, we're going to do the movie. I just did the movie that is not yet out. Uh, um, I can't remember the, I remember the working title before we finished, but it's a semi-Yoruba movie. movie. Yeah, we Yoruba shot Yoruba at Ibadan. Anyway. I'm sure a lot of people saw it on my, on my social. We, saw, we shot at Ibadan, we went to Eri Jesha. I speak Yoruba. I do speak Yoruba, and I've done two. But you know... Just two? Out of over 300? <sighs> okay, well, so the criticism <laughs> is fair. It's no, fair because right? I'm, uh, there are two different industries, even though it's one. Okay. So I'm more in the English movie industry. Uh, yes. Industry. You don't expect me to go meet them and say, oh, hello. Okay. I'm not really you know, the thing that they say about areas. you is that you tend to snub the European Oh, that's not true. Team. But, yeah. you know, the two that I have done so far came on the same level as what I'm used that, to. What, what you're used yeah. to. Yeah. So you, you know, so if your... you come and I tell you this is the, the standard and you can meet up with that, then it's fine. But if it's not the standard, I'm not going How to much do you charge per film? Wow. Woo. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. No, Bob, I mean, are you, you trying can... to hire me? No, no. <laughs> okay, let's move on with that. No, no, let me answer the question. What? I can't tell you in exact figures, but let's okay, just Okay, what's say, the range? It's all right. <laughs> it's an all right range, oh, yes. according to Nigeria's problems. <laughs> Um, an activist, a philanthropist, and mm -hmm. you have a foundation as well, correct? Right. What is this foundation about? Well, two now. Well, we started with OYEP, which is almost like Youth Empowerment yeah. Program, yes. which is, um, we started as a movement because it's an activism um, body. Um, so pretty much it's an empowerment program, like it says, but it's pretty much more about teaching young people um, what, they, what they really stand for, how to... Pretty much it's about your rights. <laughs> Let me just break it down. Pretty so it's much about, it's about what? your rights. Okay. Your rights. That's what matters to me. I tell people I'm not a humanitarian first. I'm an activist first. What that okay. means is that's how my brain works. When I see someone on the streets who's maybe one hand, you know, one hand is off. You know, maybe you would feel like, oh, poor you, you want to give them money. That's not how my that's brain works. Mind. No, my brain works like, okay, so you have one more hand. Why are you not, you know, asking for your rights? Wow. You deserve this. You know, that's how my brain works. And so first and foremost, that's where I always tend to put my energy, activism, and how to, um, as a human being, how to find your self-worth and how not to feel like you need to depend on someone, you know, um, to sustain you. Because as a human being, as a force that you are, you are powerful. And a lot of people don't know that. So people keep you down and tell you, you what your weaknesses are but I want to tell you what your strengths are and that's what I Very love to nice. do and the other one we brought about because of the Nigerian problem because then we can't just be telling people that we're like now nah, down we go chop you know and it's mm -hmm. annoying but it's what it is so now we have give and let give and our first project was the widows makeover we did okay. um, where we are you know and so we've been doing that every year and so the whole idea but but we do that also with an activism because what we say with that with give and let give is um, there's something in your hand that someone else needs. So our, our vision eventually is that we don't just give you. When people donate, you have to come get it at some very little thing. It might be 100 naira. So you can get a Chanel bag for 100 naira. Pretty much what it is is that it circulates, you know. Mm. If you don't have money, you don't have anything, you can give your service, you know, but you can't get things for free. Well, many Nigerian actors are also entrepreneurs. I mean, um, it's good you do a, a number of extracurricular things, but some uh -huh. of your colleagues sell uh, Brazilian uh, air, yeah. some sell wigs, yeah. some run cosmetic stores, We're very and all that. People. Yeah, so <laughs> are you also uh, into business? Are you also. 
uh, I've selling always something been. on the side? Well, I don't know how to sell. I wouldn't lie to you. I'm the worst um, trader you can ever find. I've never been good at it. But I've always done estate. That's what I studied. I studied estate management, and that's what I do. I do estate. Okay. Yeah. Now, I mean, there are also some actors who have turned their fame into, you know, power. Right. Uh, they go into politics. And, I mean, you are probably the most famous of them all. <laughs> are you planning to run for office someday? Um, mm. Because I imagine you <laughs> as a politician, you know. And mm. a lot of people will be hailing you, almost sexy, almost sexy for House of Reps. Any such thoughts in your mind? It's, it's amazing that this discussion keeps coming up. But I, all I'll say right now is, um, prior to this time, I used to say, oh, no, not politics because I don't want to get corrupt and everything. But I, I think as I've gotten more mature and all of that, I've come to see that politics is life. Life is politics. We all live politics every day. And so staying away really is you giving away your future and giving away your life. So uh, politics, I would never say never to. Um, I only have to do it on my own terms. I'm, I can't, I don't know how that's going to work. Yeah. I've been invited once <laughs> to be in the Senate um, and all of that stuff. I turned it down at the time because I didn't think I was ready. So I feel like when I'm ready, it would happen naturally, but I'm so not going to force it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you, were, to, on, to, um, if you were to choose a political platform <laughs> in wow. Nigeria today, which political party would right you choose? Right now, none, because I don't see anyone that, that, that clearly states the values that I, I think we should go with, unfortunately. If they do have, then they have not done a very good job explaining that to us. I don't see any young person who is really serious-minded thinking of going to be either APC or PDP. I have to say that clearly. So there's something wrong with them. I can't say this is what you stand for. What, what does PDP stand for? What does APC stand for? I don't even know what your goals are. I don't know what their goals are. And I'm saying that very categorically. They need to do more about that. If you truly, I mean, look at the way they cross carpets up and down the whole place. I mean, they have no values. You know, today you are APC, you are PDP, you are SDP, you are Gora B. What, what do you stand for? What, 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 forget about even the people. The party itself, because people can be, you know, flaky. But the party itself as a, as a platform, what are your values? Ten years down the line, what am, I, what am I fighting for? If I'm here, if I join you now, irrespective of what happens with who the players are, if I choose to stay, what am I waiting? What am I staying with? What am I waiting? I don't even know. In 2015, you supported the change process, the APC. Now, Me? You didn't? No. <laughs> so, I, don't make, I don't lie about it. I never, I've never voted in my life in Nigeria. Which is wrong, by the way. Even now, then, you've not collected a PVC. I have done my PVC. Um, yeah, I, saw, um, I saw that. Yeah, I yes. did that. I've, I've done my registration. They haven't given me the, the permanent, permanent one. I've just done the temporary. But do you intend to use it in 2019? When there are some credible people coming up, uh, out now. For the first time, I'm beginning to believe in Nigeria. Unfortunately, in I In terms of what you're beginning to believe in Nigeria, in terms of... The fact that young people are now brave to want to come okay. out before we were not brave to do that. Okay. Now I see credible people trying. trying. Um, I worry for them, though, because if you don't have the money that these people have stolen and amassed to fight, mm -hmm. what you should have is time. And now they don't even have the time. So I'm not very sure about 2019. I think we need to also plan long term. I'm looking at 2000 and what, 23? 2023. 20, 20, 20, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. And I think it is time for us to start now. We really need to start now. So even if the candidates are coming up now, the young ones, the serious ones, uh, you know, I can mention their names to heavens. But even if they don't get in in 2019, they would have planted enough to make it in 2023. Mm -hmm. And I want to appeal to people, vote for the young ones. Vote for the people that you really trust. Don't go call a win. That's not the point, though. It's not about winning. It's about giving them enough confidence to try again. Even the one that is there now, our, our papa, you know, he tried three or how many times? Mm -hmm. You know, so they understand that. But we young people don't understand that. We just think once you just go and try, you must win. If you don't win, then, you know, you're not worthy. <laughs> Please allow them to keep trying. Allow them to keep getting experience and support that. And so please go out so and vote. You, Even if it's only one vote, let it be yours. You support the not too young to run law, you know. <laughs> I'm not really, I don't really care about the not too young thing because some young people are actually worse than the older ones. Mm -hmm. That's not the point. I think... Go and check what they have done. Don't be ignorant. Don't just go oh, because it's young. You know, that's not the point because some of them are demons. Make sure you check who and what their antecedents are. What have they done? What have they achieved? Okay. You know, and we can only hope that when they well, get there, they will be. Thank you very well. much, uh, Omotola, for coming Omotola, to the morning show. It was show. such a pleasure to have you on this. And <laughs> I wish you mine. huge success um, becoming a, uh, being a voting member. Thank well, you. I have one more question for you. Does your um, voting ability influence Nollywood movies? 
Right now, I don't know if it does, but I'm sure it will. Okay. Trust me, I've already written the letter to okay, them. I know I won't good. stop. So. Very good. Good luck on your end. <laughs> thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Get to have you here again. I would love to. Oh, thank you, Amoto. <laughs> <laughs> it's time now for a short break. When we return, Victoria Peppel will be filling us on what's trending. Stay with us.